Apple season here in the picturesque Yarra Valley, about an hour outside of Melbourne. Yarra Valley truffles have actually been one of Victoria's longest serving producers of this culinary delicacy. Now, like most industries, they had so many challenges through the pandemic, but with perseverance and the help of some specially trained four-legged friends, they've been able to bounce back and have a super exciting year ahead. I am so excited about meeting you. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Trophier. Thank you. And who are these two? This is Jaeger and this is Lani. Look, I can't wait to talk more in detail about what they're doing, but first of all, can you give me an overview of this amazing place? I have two and a half acres planted with the trees, English oak, evergreen oak and hazels. And the, so it's hazels as well as oak. So I've always yep. wondered, is, are they the only trees that truffles tend there, to be under? There are a couple others, chestnuts and willows. How did you get into this? A truffled mashed potato in a restaurant in 2003. What? <laughs> My wife and I had, were so blown away by the flavour and the intensity of the truffle that that was in Melbourne and you t told us they had it at lunch 50 kilometres the other side of Melbourne, we'd have been over there like that. That is amazing. Well, are we able to actually try and hunt for some truffles now and we can actually find out all the, the secrets to what it takes to growing them and, and finding them? We can certainly find some truffles and we find out some of the secrets and some of them <laughs> I don't know the answers to yet. I love that, but you're still learning. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, you lead the way. So how long did it take you to train Lani up like this? So Lani found her first truffle after about 10 minutes, 10 minutes work. Um, very easy to get a dog to find something and mark it. What's her signs for you? So Lani has five different tells and Jaeger wanders over and takes credit occasionally. <laughs> and what I'm watching for is how enthusiastic she is, the different tells, which is the, how they communicate they've found a truffle. And she'll have anything say, this is a week away, this is good, this is one of those fantastic ones you really love me good for. It's funny, I mean, they obviously love truffles, but I can tell, I think they love you even more. Oh, absolutely, yes. It's a, a relationship of love and very much that's the way that we train, train each other yeah, on okay. how to find truffle. What, what are the perfect conditions for growing truffles? Cold, well aerated soil. Yeah. Um, I've got an organic approach to growing the truffles and I'm just working on the soil quality. And it's in this soil that the truffles grow as a fungus on the roots of neighbouring trees. They're so prized they can sell for over $2,000 a kilo. So what do you do from that point? Well, first you have a smell. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I see what you mean. That is... You know that molasses note? Molasses. That's a great way of describing it. Rich, velvety it. molasses. It's taken me years to come up with the descriptor for a ripe truffle. Oh, my gosh. That makes me hungry. Absolutely. <laughs> so now that's been hooked out of the ground... Right. It doesn't it's go it. back. It's like picking a tomato. I'm happy with that. Hey, well done, Claire. Thank girl. you, darling. And you too. Yes, you too. You... Sometimes you get a little pasty. I know it's right. <laughs> so. Didn't you find an enormous truffle a couple of years back? Yes, a 1,511 gram truffle in 2016. What were you thinking when you actually were going to go dig it out and realise, ah, oh, this is not just your normal sized truffle? Um, it ended up becoming, oh my God. It <laughs> took 45 minutes to dig it out. No. Right, so now we've hunted our truffles mm -hmm. and we've cleaned them and dried them a little, so now I want to judge the quality of the truffle. And this is what it looks like when you cut it the whole way through, isn't it? Yes, I mean, it that's what, that's what like, we want it to look like. That looks like an artwork to me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, it's amazing. There's a little bit of dirt left there. Just get rid of that. <laughs> is it wrong that I just wanted to jump off the edge and go and get that? <laughs> oh, wow. So what are you looking for then? Right, so take a handful of those, have a smell. Do you well, smell much? No, not much at all. Not, not compared to what we were digging up. They're not, yeah, but that's not, not what we were looking for. So right. when we had some of those sharp aromas, as soon as they come out of the ground, that little bit of sharpness can disappear and there's not much left. Yeah, okay. Generally a truffle that's less ripe and the flavour is also lower. Round, regular, and the smell I can smell there. that as soon as you open, open that container. The lid, yeah. A truffle like that, even in a large restaurant, there's people 15 metres away going, what's that? We have found the holy grail of truffle right here in the Yarra Valley. Stuart has partnered with another local business to hold pop-up high teas on his farm. We're in an igloo on the side of a dam looking over a valley 
it's the ultimate paddock to plate experience. You've got yeah. the truffle there and the wine up on the hill there as well. So we're all about creating unique high tea experiences. So what have we got today in terms of Yarra Valley truffles? All of the menu is truffle infused and we've paired teas um, to complement the menu as well. <gasps> I might go a little truffle infused quiche. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to try this scallop potato and parmesan truffle. Oh, yum. Mm. Outstanding. It's not, it's not overpowering. It's mm. just really subtle in the food. That is amazing. Mm. It's quite the experience, I've got to say, Emma. <laughs> These are so gorgeous. I'm so impressed. Thank you. Ladies, enjoyed yourselves? You know what? That was amazing. The food was next level. Fantastic. One final treat for the day. Oh, I like the way this is going. <laughs> this cool. is truffle-infused vodka. Truffle-infused vodka. I never, ever would have imagined that. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, yum. Now, that's what I call the perfect end to the perfect day. Outstanding. How smooth is that? Incredibly.